Is it recording? Okay, good. Hello guys, thank you very much for clicking on this video. Now in this video I'm going to talk about one of the best blitzes in the game. Not because it's the most... If, not, not the guaranteed blitz. Not one that sends a lot of people and your opponent knows that you're blitzing. One that's very subtle that your opponent is not going to, to be expecting and it's just... It's such a good blitz, man. Believes me. Believes me. I'm just going to quickly, quickly call it playing offense so that we can do the juicy stuff on defense. Now, before I'm getting actually into this blitz, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button. Also, your subscription would be perfect. I would love you like this much more if you did it. So please do it if you want. <clears throat> if you want me to like you. And trust me, I do like you. I can guarantee it. Okay. This was weird, let's get into the video now before I'm actually going to call the play. These are my audibles, cover 4 drop, DB sting, you can also put in cover 1 there, which is fine too. I just prefer to have DB sting there. And then cover 2 sink and cover 3 sky not. Cover, uh, cover 2 sink is actually going to be, be the play that I want to call now. Once again, the play that I always come out of in this uh, formation is DB sting to bus. Just to make it always look the same. Move this dude in just to make it look as if I'm sending everybody. As if I'm sending my mother and the kitchen sink and all of the things that come with it. That was not sexist right there. That was just badly, uh, badly worded. That's audible to cover to sink. That's really only one just me want to make sure that this dude right here is on a contain. So we want to press L2, R2 and l1 r1 rather and then we want to check if this dude is on the contain if he's on the contain that's perfect we got what we, what we want that's all we need then for coverage adjustment I, I would personally always press i like to do that it's just me and then i would like to put this dude right here in the middle third and back him up with this dude right here you can do whatever you want you can man him up on one of these guys or man him up on the running back all of them, all of those things work. Probably the best would be either on the tight end or on the running back. And then I would recommend you to use with this dude. He's pretty fast, and I'm just going to show you how quickly this blitz get this blitz get it gets in against nobody blocking besides the offensive line. So let's snap the ball right there. Didn't get in actually. That's really weird. Never mind. Let's 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 try that again because that that really does not happen all that often. So let's try that one more time actually, one more time, one more time, make sure he's on the QB contain and snap the ball right there, okay, perfect, perfect, you, so you see how, how quickly he got in there, that's really weird that that did not work the first time I tried it, maybe if we want to run it, and let's flip it, actually never mind. I know what he's getting caught up with the tight end. Now that's that's all it is. That's all it is. Let me quickly motion over the tight end to show you. Damn, he's on the run. Okay, I'm going to motion over the tight ends to show you that this really is j only because. Yeah, there you go. Actually, running back picked him up. That's really crazy. I've never seen that happening. Really, I know this is not showing off how good this blitz is. It's really good, trust me. I've never seen the running back come all the way over to make that play. So that's not going to happen again. I can promise you that. That much. There you go, got him on the QB contain. And now this should just really hum. Like, yeah, there you go. Also, something that's very good about this blitz or about blitzing in general. Most of the time when your opponent's quarterback gets hit, he's going to fumble the ball. This is just really crazy. Like 25% of the time you can bank on that. He's going to fumble the ball even when he's in the pocket and even if he's not scrambling. It's really crazy this year. So definitely make sure they have a good blitz because these are really cheap fumbles. And they happen so often. You really need to know what you're doing to really have a good blitz. One more time, I'm going to show you this right here. It's kind of like sound like an auction dude, like some, that dude that calls out the prices and stuff. That was really fast. I'm surprised that I didn't stumble over my words there. Okay, perfect. So, what player do you want in that basic spot? You want a f a f as fast of a player as possible and as high of a play rec player as possible so that if your opponent tries to play action on you, he doesn't get sucked into the uh, play action so that he actually knows that it's a passing play. Okay, 
So now that we got the blitz adjustments out of the way, let's call let's go over what we can do pass coverage wise. So what I would recommend you do, like I already stated at the beginning of the video, or relatively to the beginning of the video, is I would most of the time always put this dude right here in a deep third. I would press. I would man up the sing solo wide receiver right here, just to uh, just to make sure that I don't have to worry about it. And then I can do whatever I want. This is one shell that I commonly go with. I just need to then make sure that if the running back goes out on the route or goes out to the flat, that that's my responsibility. That's the thing about using. You need to know your responsibility and what you need to cover. I need to watch out for some drags that might come in kind of like this area. And also need to be aware of some crossing routes that might finish all the way up here. This is all I have to worry about. This is one shell that you can go with. Another shell that I really, really like is press, set up our blitz. And then go with a cover 6 look on the outside. Move this guy back. I would put him in a, a hook curl or... Never mind, actually I feel like a middle third is fine, mid read is fine. Personally I most of the time go with a, a word hook though, so I'm going to put him in a word hook. And then once again this is my user. I want to have as fast of a player as possible, as tall as a play of a player as possible, and if possible somebody with lurker. Now that's the things that I look for on in this position. So now we have kind of like a cover 6 look, really really good. Once again, my responsibilities are drag routes. I also need to look over here for some uh, for the verticals play because there's no zone in this area. This dude right here goes out in the flat, as you can see. And I need to be aware of crossing routes. Once again, you can also man up this guy on the um, on the X receiver if this if your opponent has been he has been hitting you with verticals a couple of times. But yeah, this is kind of like a cover six look. Also, something that in my opinion is very, very underrated is a cover to invert and then cross man the safeties. QB contain and then something like this is also really, really good. Not only if your opponent isn't hit isn't hitting with corner routes. So if your opponent is running corner routes, which they most likely will be out of gun bunch. You want something like outside quarters. Now, this is not something that I commonly use, but really something important to note is that you always, always, always want to try to switch up the coverage shell as often as possible. I never try to run the same coverage shell two times in a row so that your opponent, my opponent isn't catching on to what I'm doing. Sometimes I just do it because I'm lazy and I think that my opponent isn't going to adjust and then whenever they adjust I'm like, oh, I didn't expect him to do that. Oh, he's got a touchdown because I'm too stubborn to switch up. So always make sure to mix up your coverage shells. Now this is a really, really funky setup. You will not see me run this often, but it's really, really good to if you can hit your opponent with a surprise. Also something that can be very troublesome for some opponents, just stock. Like make sure you got the blitz set up. That's pretty much only what you need to uh, worry about. And then just run it like this. This has actually given me quite some trouble. What you can then do is to like intensify the blitz, send this dude from the other edge, and then this is really really difficult because it's a kind of like bend don't break defense. The only thing you need to watch out in this situation then are post routes over the middle because anything other will will pretty much guaranteed to get a shed after like four seconds because if we're sending five people that's a lot of one-on-ones to get through now this is also a really good setup like i just said i keep uh repeating myself now the most important thing though is to make sure you have this guy on the qb contain if you have a fast quarterback sometimes that i've used uh, some uh, something that i sometimes do is qb spy this position and then play something like this once again bend don't break defense when you have a fast qb make sure you have as fast of a player as possible in that spot because 96 speed i think 97 speed on a lot of teams michael vick is just going to run away from anybody that's not got like 95 speed 95 speed is still going to run away from those guys but he's just going to contain him a little bit better now 
there's not much more to say about this play other than always make sure wait, 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 I'm actually going to run this play right here just to make sure that um, just to make sure that I come out in this play what's very important make these adjustments to make it look like you're setting up DB's thing to bus and then mo uh, then change into whatever you want to run because then it's going to be expecting oh I'm probably going to be able to throw the quick pass guess what actually will be but if I have a safety there that's probably a pick let's try this again oh I'll probably have to throw a quick pass I'm thinking on offense psych you're just going to end up throwing straight at a user probably so make sure to have a good user and know what you have to cover this is all I have for this video. Once again, if this video helped you out, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you like clicking buttons and subscribing to things, then hit the subscribe button to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. If you have not checked out the video on how to defend the run or how to stop the run dead in, in its tracks, make sure to watch that. It's linked up there. And also, something I, I'm, I'm going to do quickly do the anchor right now, if you don't mind. Here on my face you have this button to subscribe to my channel, right here is a video, right here is a video. Both of them you're going to want to watch, they're really good, I can promise you that I put a lot of effort in my, into my videos, I hope that they help you. If, they, if this video helped you, let me know in the comment section, I'm really happy to interact with you guys, give you guys some tips and explain some things that were, probably weren't clear in the, uh, in the video. Once again, click here or click here and definitely click here. See you in the next one, peace out.